Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and welcome to Juniper Border Gateway Protocol, BGP Lab number three. In this lab, we're going to take a closer look at the next hop attribute. So the first thing I want to do in this lab is explain our network diagram. We have three routers in this lab. We have router one, router two, and router three. Router one and router two are connected via the 12 network and router 1 is connected to router 3 via the 13 network. All these routers are created within one single Juniper router in what is known as logical systems. If you're not familiar with logical systems you might want to go ahead and watch those videos to familiarize yourself with the concept of logical systems. Just a high level overview of logical systems. They allow you to create within one single physical Juniper router, I can break it up into many different routing processes. Or what we can have is virtual routers inside of one physical router. And then we can connect these virtual routers together, our logical systems together, with what's known as logical tunnels. So in this video, all logical tunnels are going to be represented as LT-120.xx. For instance, R1 to R3. That interface is going to be LT-120.13. So LT.13. And then the connection on R3 is going to be LT-120.31. So also we have router 2 has loopback 0.2 with the IP addresses of 2.2.2.0/24 and also the 22 network with slash 24 as well. Router 3 has the loopback of 0 0.3 with the 3 network and the 33 network, both slash 24s. Router 3 is in autonomous system 200. Router 1 and Router 2 are in Autonomous System 100. So the connection between R1 and R2 is going to be IBGP, or internal BGP, and the connection between R1 and R3 is going to be external BGP, because we have, with external BGP, we have a peering in different autonomous systems. Obviously, Autonomous System 100 to Autonomous System 200. So in this lab we're going to take a look at the default behavior of the next hop attribute and the default behavior of when we advertise these networks on R3 into BGP and Autonomous System 200 we're going to look at how they are passed on to Router 1 and Autonomous System 100 and then how Router 1 is going to pass reachability to these networks to its IBGP peer, which is going to be router 2. We're going to look at trace options, how to set that up. We're also going to look at some show commands and some verification. We're going to look at some show commands so that we can verify reachability and some of the important aspects of the next top attribute. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start.